So welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, it's a beautiful winter day, something like minus one. It's nothing compared to my last video, where it's minus 40. You just, just look at me, the way I'm dressed. It's, it's a really nice day. So I'm at Jean Cartier, and it's a, it's a national park uh, in Quebec, and it's near Quebec City, so it's kind of busy, but it's a really nice park. Basically, it's a big valley, and uh, there's a river that just goes in this valley and it's, it's a really nice park, but it's, like I said, it's really busy because we're near a big city. So I just picked a trail. There's a whole bunch of trails here. I just picked one and this is the first view that we, that we get on this trail. And uh, there's nothing really original here. I'm just trying to get the best of the light. And uh, so that's basically what I'm doing. I stuck my camera here and I'm just cradling this mountain with all these conifers. Uh, just framing up the mountain and I'm just waiting for the sun to hit the mountain and hit these conifers just to create some uh, separation with the dark valley and the clouds today is a really nice day for photography this the sky is really nice so like I've said I'm just taking different shots just trying to get the best of the light on the mountain and on the conifers I'm shooting at f14 um, I think I think I could shoot f11, but I just want to be safe. I'm shooting f14. I'm focusing at that white uh, patch down the frame there. It's two thirds into the image. So I think I'll get everything in focus that way. And, uh, but yeah, no, it should look good. So here's the image guys. closer at the bottom of the screen you can see hundreds of these little black dots I've never seen this in my life and they're actually little bugs and I had to ask around because I had no idea what they were and somebody reached out to me on Instagram and told me they were called springtails or uh, their nickname is also snow flea basically they just live under the ground and during the springtime when it's warm enough they actually come out the ground and just travel on the snow they just kind of migrate and travel on the snow and then they go back in the ground but I've never seen this before and there were like hundreds of these so no it was quite interesting all right so a little update I'm close to the the mountain here where I took a picture of uh, earlier back up there on the on the trail so my plan is just to obviously keep going on the trail but I want to line a sight of the valley and this mount these mountains here are blocking that view of that valley. So I'm just gonna keep going and uh, eventually, hopefully it clears up and we ha we'll have a nice view. We got something here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got a nice nice view here. Okay, this is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. This will do. Alright, so I'm pretty excited now. I just gotta just gotta oh, oh it's not so deep. So no, I think uh, I got a good view the valley here uh, hopefully when I get close to the river 
I'll find something interesting. Sunset is still in like, a, I don't know, two, three hours. So I'm not in a rush, but the lights, uh, you can see the sun here. It's gonna dip below. So the foreground's not gonna be lit up or anything, but yeah, no, let's uh, keep going. Okay, I think I got the shot here. <sighs> this might actually be just a telephoto shot. Since I don't have a, a lot of entrance interest here, but at least I have a nice open view of this hill right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a nice shape to it. It's catching nice light. The clouds are nice and dramatic. Maybe I'll do a long exposure for this one because we do see the blue sky. If I'm doing a long exposure, I want to see the blue sky or else it's just a big mush of white and gray. It doesn't look good. So, uh, oh man, what should I do? So I did the exact opposite of what I wanted to do and I shot a whole bunch of different compositions on the wider side. And when I got home, I realized that I didn't really like any of those images. And I kind of just wasted my time there. I let my poor little brother there on the trail for a good 45 minutes. Um, eventually I give up here and I move on and I actually shoot telephoto like I wanted to do. Okay, so I think I got a better composition. I just, whoa. Composition, where are you? Okay, so I think I found a better shot here. I just walked across this little bank or bay there, uh, across the forest, and the snow was all the way up to my chest. And I had the two tripods, and I didn't film anything, obviously, because I was just like completely out of breath, and it was really difficult. I mean, I'm just gonna shoot this here as I'm talking to you guys. But basically, I'm not, I can't find anything on the foreground, so I decided just to use my telephoto lens to focus in on the best part of this valley. So I'm focusing, I'm zoom, zoomed in all the way across the valley, and we're getting some nice light in the, on one of the hills. And then for the foreground, we have these uh, dark conifers, and uh, it kind of just, it, it goes, the conifers just, it does like a little like a half circle around these uh these uh mounts so it, it's a really interesting um composition and i'm really liking it so again i'm just uh like the first shot of the day i'm just bracketing the image and i'll blend those in photoshop but i'm pretty satisfied with this image and here it is guys tell me what you guys think Snowshoes. I'm like neck deep here. Holy smokes. So 
So I just walked back uh, from the trail, walking back to the parking and lot of around three kilometers. And I'm stopping here where I was. Uh, I took a break earlier where all the bugs were. And we're getting some pretty nice light sunset. What time is it? Sunset's at, well, it's pretty close. Sunset's right about now. So I'm just gonna shut up and uh, try to find a composition. So I'm having a bit of problems with the foreground, with the water. I don't wanna get too close because I'm just gonna sink in and I'm gonna get wet. So I think what I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna use those trees as foreground over there. And I'm gonna use uh, just a valley in the clouds. Just gonna take a telephoto shot and uh, shoot where the beautiful sky is. So hopefully that works out. Just gotta change my lens here really quick. Don't wanna waste too much time. Ugh, I'm panicking. It's not good. Okay, so now I don't have to danger my life here. I could just stay right here. All right, so I took a quick shot because I don't know how much longer I have with the colors. It's uh, it's not the best composition, but at least, you know, I'm here, I'm taking the shot, making the most of it. We'll see if the light, if it lights up a bit more. Just gonna stay here for another like uh, maybe 10 minutes, see if there's more light. But yeah, let's uh, just uh, try to get something else here. So I think that's it for the light. I think I came in, I came two minutes too late. Um, it wasn't like you know a super colorful sky, but there was some color, and uh, I could have done something a bit more interesting if I put my telephoto lens and just. Uh, aimed at the nicest part of the landscape. So I guess the moral of the story is if you can't find a good enough foreground or the foreground just doesn't match up with the background, uh, you know, a telephoto lens is really a lifesaver because you can just really focus in and zoom in on the best part of the landscape. And then you just have to play with the foreground in the far distance of the landscape. But I think that's it for the color, so I'll pop the image on screen if it's any good. Tell me what you guys think about this image. that last shot for sunset but you know you can't can't win them all like they say right so I'm glad I'm still glad I came out it's, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video two months that I haven't been out and today is not as cold so if you guys want to see me frozen like an ice cube click on the video here don't forget to like the video if you liked it and until next time guys God bless <laughs>